Hello everybody out there in YouTube land. This is Tyler. This is going to be a video for those who have probably had past experiences of this or those who are going through it in the present moment with a family member or more. And then this is the same family member or maybe more who have demanded an explanation from you about what happened concerning that situation. And then you finally made the decision to explain to this family member about the situation of what happened because you thought that he or she was going to listen to you. But while in the beginning or in the midst of that explanation of by explaining yourself, this is the same family member or maybe more who interfered and then in your explanation, while in the midst or in the middle of that explanation, then and, and sit there either lashing off on you or sit there and say, hold up for a minute and then hold on for a minute and then said what he or she had to say. And I'm going to tell all of you something. If you have a family member or more who is constantly doing you like this, and then this is the same family member who either lashes off at you or either trying to tell you by interfering, hold on for a minute or hold up for a minute, this is a sign of indicating this family member is not trying to listen to you. It's going through one ear through another ear. And you know the reason why is simply because that family member or maybe more is simply trying to tell you your explanation does not even matter at all. And their opinion counts at the beginning or in, in the middle of the explanation. And this is the same family member ain't even gotten the whole picture about what even happened in the whole in the whole scenario. Ain't even got the picture about what happened. And this is the same family member that probably said, well, you need to have a short explanation or whatever. How in the world are you going to get the whole picture if you don't have the whole explanation in front of you? It's just like you got some dumbass relatives that will say, well, your mother, your father, your uncle, or your auntie will have a right to interfere in the middle of the midst of explanation. No, that dumbass relative or maybe more is wrong. And you know the reason why? It's simply because if, if a person is explaining to you in the in the beginning or in the middle of the explanation and they ain't finished giving the explanation out, how in the world can you have the full picture about what really happened? How? How in the world can you have the full picture about what really happened? So on their part, a, a relative or maybe more that says that they are wrong. And then when a person sit there and interferes in the middle of the, or in the middle of the explanation, don't care who it is. If, if they do that or whatever, they ain't got the whole picture. And I'm going to tell all of you something that if you have a family member or maybe more that constantly interferes, with you by explaining yourself to them or you by trying to give this explanation to them. Either way that it go. And then this family member continues to lash off at you or by interfering saying, hold up for a minute. It is in your best interest to stop trying to explain yourself to this family member. It is in your best interest is to stop trying to conversate with this family member. It is in your best interest to stop calling this family member. It is in your best interest to stop trying to go over to their house or go visit them. And you know the reason why? It's simply because why would you go visit someone, call someone that has made up his or her mind that they're not going to listen to you? Why would you? That's just a waste of time, and that's just a waste of energy. And this is the same family member that has made the decision. They're not going to listen to you, but they'll go around and go listen to other family members of what they got to say, even if these are no good family members that ain't got nothing good for them, that ain't even no good for them. Same ones. And then these are the same ones that want to complain about it in your face. They ain't heard from you or you ain't visit them or whatever. You ain't called them or whatever. 
You ain't got time to explain to them why. Because if you did, they ain't, the only thing they're going to do is lash out, try and raise hell, and then try and interfere, getting real mad and upset whenever that you're spitting the facts to them. You ain't got time to be explaining yourself to them. They done shown you. They're not going to listen to you. And then these are the same family members that want to sit there and complain about how come you ain't told me nothing? How come you ain't tell me anything about it or whatever? Because this family member has shown he or she is not going to listen. Or maybe more, they're not going to listen. Now, I'm going to say this to all of you. If you have a family member, whenever that it becomes a situation involving you or maybe a family member, or it was a big argument or whatever, whatever that the situation may be, and then you have a family member or maybe more asking you for the explanation about what happened between you two, and then this is the same family member who lashes off at you while in the beginning or in the middle of the explanation, constantly lashing off at you when you're trying to explain yourself. Or whenever that it comes to this family member saying, hold on for a minute, hold, hold, hold for a minute. Constantly interfering by giving his or her opinion without even listening to the whole picture and getting the whole picture from you. And then... You got fed up and got tired of it, and you said, I'm not no longer explaining nothing to none of you. Or it may be one family member you said, I'm not wasting my time explaining nothing to you. And you shut it down. All because this family member did not want to listen. And I'm going to tell you, you have a right to shut it down. Because that particular family member is showing you all that time that he or she has said I'm not listening to you what you got to say and then this same low down ass family member maybe more want to say to you what happened you ain't got to give them no explanation because they don't shown you that they don't want to listen or this family member has shown you that he or she doesn't want to listen to you and then I'm going to tell you this if that same family member that you don't shut down and you said, I'm not explaining myself to you and I'm not explaining the situation to you. And then this is the same family member that tells you, you are out of line and they ain't got the whole picture about what happened. It ain't you that was in the wrong. It was that family member that was in the wrong that tells you you was out of line. And you know the reason why? Because he or she didn't even bother to get the whole picture about what happened when you was trying to explain yourself or trying to explain that situation. Because I'm going to tell you, when you have a family member that gets mad and upset and tells you that you out of line and ain't got the whole picture, this family member has made up his or her decision on whose side that they're on. They're not on your they're not on your side and they're not on the side of right because if they was on the side of right they would have listened to the whole entire explanation of what you had to say but they'll say that they're on the side of right but they was on the side of wrong so I'm going to tell you, if you have a family member that tells you that you need to cut that family member off and have nothing to do with them Nothing to do with them because they're going to continue doing the same shit to you over and over and over again. Disrespecting you like that over and over and over again. And they feel like they have a right to disrespect you like that when you're trying to give an explanation to them or him or her. And I'm going to tell all of you because I'm because black because black folks as a community, we are well known for doing this shit. Lashing off whenever someone's trying to give the explanation, showing you ain't listening. But these are the same ones that want to tell you whenever it's the opposite way, when you're the one that's being quiet, listening to them, what they got to say. And then they want to say that you're listening. Now, I want to challenge that narrative. If they're being quiet, 
listening to you or whatever or whatever instructions that you're trying to give them doesn't even make no difference what type of situation that it was. That particular person is listening to you. You probably must misconvey the in in instructions. So it was your fault for misconveying the instructions so how that they can understand it. Or whenever that it comes to a particular situation, it's your fault that you didn't convey it right. That person was listening to you if they were quiet and listened to your whole explanation. And black folks, we do this shit all the goddamn time as a community. You know I'm telling the truth. And it's a fact. You want to sit there and holler, they ain't listening. Whenever that someone is trying to listen to the instruction or whatever, they're being quiet. It's your fault on how you convey the instructions, not theirs. The listener. So I'm going to go on ahead and cut this video short. All of you have a great and wonderful day and evening. Now, I just want to see in the comment section how many of you have went through this mess with family members. No, you have.